Bill 119 was introduced by Senator Narissa Underwood following the recent order in the District Court of Guam regarding the unconstitutionality of Guam's existing marriage laws. The legislation would amend local law to comply with the ruling. The bill would provide equal protection for all families on Guam by creating equality in civil marriage. The legislation, however, was met with opposition by the Catholic Church. Director of Family Ministry with the Archdiocese of Aganya, Deacon Larry Claris, testified against the bill, presenting his research on the impact same-sex marriage has on society. Claris went so far as to cite a study regarding the impact same-sex marriages had on their children. But there's children that uh, are raised in these households, uh, whether fathers or mothers, and, and that they, they grew up to, to having probably the same type of relationships their, their parents had, their mothers or their fathers. So uh, these high statistics, these studies that this, uh, this uh, Family Research Council did, uh, I, think it's, I, I think it's accurate. The issue hit close to home for Loretta Pangilinan, who is at the forefront of the battle for marriage equality on Guam, as she and her partner are foster parents to several children. I have raised over 19 foster kids, and I actually have a license for it. And my kids, I raised them as my parents raised me. It's their decision, yes, I understand that. I don't raise my kids to like the same sex whatsoever. The deacon said he was not there to pass judgment, but to ask senators not to touch marriage in its redefinition. He said that if our brothers who have a different lifestyle want certain rights, then senators should pass laws or bills specifically for that.